okay welcome again and thanks for watching before we start today's uh, video I would like to thank you for your support and uh, because of you you give me the courage to come into my studio and that's been I don't know if you wrote you know, any of you saw the description of the last video um, I'll be honest with you, I, I've been having some uh, depression problems and uh, it was hard for me to get going again so I was eight months without doing any of this. Sorry about my thick accent. I'm Maltese. I live, lived in Australia for the past 41 years. Okay, now enough of that, let's start. today. We're going to show you, I'm going to show you how I protect my paintings. For those of you who have seen before, I always tape the bottom of my canvases. That's to keep everything clean, as you can see. We're, we will go through later on to see how I'll take that off. Because when you put resin on top, this gets very hard. And I'll show you how we take it off. Anyway. But before we do all that, I'll show you the resin that I use. I'm not sponsored by the way, but this is the best resin I can find. Just resin. And it's uh, Artcast. Artcast Just Resin is 3 to 1. 3 to 1. So I have enough to do this left to do this and maybe another one. Wear gloves. Okay, and this is the way I measure my resin. One of this. This is the hard now. Let's not waste it and we'll put it in there. Then, when you put them all together, that's when the clock starts. You have about 40 minutes, which is a lot for what I'm doing today. 40 minutes to play around with it. So, what I like to do is fill up these three cups first. And only when I'm ready to stir the combination of the resin I will start mixing them up look at this exactly this means I've been a good boy I measure properly <laughs> from start to finish <coughs> if any kids are watching this you know why Martin is coughing oh I look very dark over there because Martin is a naughty boy and he smokes so don't smoke, kiddies, because you become like me, always coughing, okay? Coughing is no good for you. No, sorry, smoking is no good for you. It's pretty good. So because I added this now, I have to put the others in as quickly as I can, because the clock started about a minute ago <laughs> without me realizing. Tell you what we're gonna need today. We're gonna need uh, obviously the resin, pair of gloves, a stirrer, a heating here, yeah? and we also have a heat gun today. Okay, I'll tell you why. Because sometimes the resin, although the temperature today is not too bad, it's about uh, 16 degrees in the garage here. That's not too bad, um, but uh, sometimes the resin needs a bit of help to heat it up to make it more pliable, okay? Also, while this is happening, this is the 
as you might have known, uh, this is uh, an order. The client ordered these colors and it's been over a week uh, drying, so it's perfect for resin. Okay. And we've got a nice, nice clean cloth here and we just go over it just like that. No need for, uh, because they've, they've been covered all this time by the snap. So it's not really dusty, all right? So we'll just go, this is a very soft cloth, removes any, any dirt that might have uh, accumulated. There you go, that's enough. Put that aside. We have three minutes of steering and before we cut the film off, the video, make sure you get the sides and the bottom of the cup. I don't know if you might have noticed or not. I hate mess. I want everything in order. Maybe too much of it, but unless I have everything in order, I can't do this. Okay, because we have a lot of resin, we also gonna try to resin this one. Maybe I haven't seen it yet. This is a set of three. I have one resin already. Hope the picture is okay. I went to great lengths to light this uh, studio up. Anyway, uh, again, I would like to thank everybody for your support and messages. It gives me the courage to keep going. I can't uh, thank you enough. You're not just uh, encouraging me to do this, but encouraging me to do anything at all. Because lately, I haven't been doing much. <laughs> haven't been, I haven't felt like doing anything yet, actually. But this is um, helping me, helping me quite a bit. So for that, I thank you. Just warming the resin up a bit. Make it, see? Make it more manageable. Not too much, eh? Because you start burning and the fumes are not good for you. Oh, by the way, I, since I last saw you, uh, I added this uh, pet nappies. Because even though I have uh, silicon mats, Again from Just Resin, I'm not sponsored, which are very good, but you know, I don't like mess, so I put these in, and then when you're ready, you just pick everything up and chuck them up. Bring the painting in. Do the one last swipe. And we're going to start. Again, we heat the resin up just to make it more pliable and let's see what happens here. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you that it's very important when you resin something like this, make sure it's uh, level. I have this small spirit level here. And tag my word for it, it's perfect, perfectly straight. This is not so much. I 
anyway. It's not, it's not the way I want it, but it's too late now to muck around with it. I should have checked before. See, I'm trying to tell you what to do, and I didn't do it myself. Don't do what I do, <laughs> don't do what I say, whatever. Well, I don't know how you say it, whatever. When you do this, you can feel the resin. Maybe you're covering the canvas or not. To look to see if I covered everywhere. Looks like I did. Yep, that's pretty good. These gloves are like this. I might resin the other one before I use the, the other stuff. Put this on the side. I wiped this, by the way, just before we started. Can you see it? Yeah. It's nice and warm. The resin is warming up. That means it's uh, it's it's curing already. I do have another one. I think I have enough to do it. Let me show you this. As I said before, this is a set of three. The other one is resin already. So that's good, we have enough to do three of these. That's good. High pine resin is the best to cover and protect all my paintings. Never lets me down. And it always looks fantastic. The clients like it. So, why change a good thing, eh? Yes, it's expensive, but um, I won't do it any other way. I'd rather not cover my painting with anything than doing it without resin. If that makes sense, it somehow it didn't make sense to me, but anyway. So I'd rather leave my paintings unprotected than covering them with anything else but resin. That's what I meant to say. Don't forget English is my second language, okay? So cut me some cut me some slack please. When these dry, maybe about three days to dry. Then we show the rest of this video, how to remove the bottom tape. There you go. I think it's all done. Let's have a look. Good. We remove the gloves and remove the bubbles. Without making a mess. Okay. Remove the bubbles. Do the 
swung. Okay, thanks for that. And next time, next time we make, which is in a couple of seconds, video and time. Uh, once these are dry, we'll start removing the the tape. Okay, I would like to show you that too. So until then, in a couple of seconds, <laughs> see you around. And thanks for watching once again. I appreciate you. Okay. By magic, this is, has been dry for the last three days. That's enough. And now we'll show you how to remove the backing. Okay, first things first. And as you can see, look how clean the edges are. Now I want to show you, if you don't use the heat gun, what will happen? It's going to create more work for me, but I have to show you. Look, there's no heat here. That's still hot before. Now look. Have a look. See? The edge. That's because no heat gun. And this bit has stuck. Had no heat. So. When you tear the tape, don't go like that. Go towards you, okay? And leave the nice, nice, uh, whatever, edge. See, it's getting stuck already, no heat. Applying the same force, I, I promise I'm doing the same force. Look, it's stopped. No. Same force, it stopped again. So okay. What do you want, doggy? You want to see my doggy? Yeah, look. Yeah, my doggy. My doggy. Hey doggy, her name is Sky. Her name is Sky. Say hi to Sky. Good on you, Sky. Go sit down. Go sit down. She's my friend, the one that keeps me company. And and there you go. There you go. Nice and neat. This is where we didn't do enough heat, but we're gonna leave it like that. And all I do after that, I just write um, today's date. It is the 12th October 22. And I just sign it. Okay, it's a signature. That's Marty screwed out. And obviously, I should show you this, eh? I don't know. I, I would hang it. 
don't know. Like this. I was hanging it like this. I can't see it from this camera. <laughs> I'll show you on this camera. There you go. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. And um, I promise you I will be posting a video every week. I'm gonna do one a week at least of this. The phone is ringing. Okay, I promise you uh, thanks for watching. and. I really, really appreciate it. So uh, I promise from now on, one a week. Until then, thank you. God bless.